this brief segment, we are going to talk about weight loss. Weight loss, particularly in women, it may apply to men, but they need a little further research. In fact, pretty much groundbreaking research in regards to weight loss for women. And what it comes down to is they looked at something called probiotics. Now, what led them to look at this was basically they noticed that the gut bacteria, or I should say the environmental microbiota, in the gut of people which were overweight, or I'd use the term obese, was different than those that were not. So the researchers want to look at basically seeing if they try to alter the environment of the gut to more beneficial bacteria. As you may be familiar with bacteria you find from unpasteurized yogurts and cheese and things along those lines. Bacteria naturally pick up in the environment. Well, in this article published in the British Journal of Nutrition, January 2014, you'll find the link to the research down below or on this video. This is what they said. Studies have already demonstrated that the intestinal flora of obese individuals differs from that of thin people, as we discussed. The difference may be the fact that a diet high in fat and low in fiber promotes certain bacteria at the expense of others. The professor and his team tried to determine if the consumption of probiotics could help reset the balance of the intestinal microbiota in favor of bacteria that promote a healthy weight. So they took recruits, about 125 people, took them over about a 12 week period of time, both men and women. Now this is where the results get extremely interesting. All right, now remember, the study primarily went for 12 weeks and then went a little further, but the probiotics was only administered for 12 weeks. And they usually used one strain of probiotic. The probiotic they utilized was lactobacillus, lactobacillus sorry, or rhamnosus. And this is what happened. After a 12 week period, Research observed an average weight loss of 4.4 kilograms in women in the probiotic group compared to 2.6 kilograms in the placebo group. Remember, a kilogram is about 2.2 pounds, so you're looking over 8 pounds versus 4 pounds. Only talking 12 weeks. However, no difference was seen in the men. Sorry about that, guys, but they figured the dosage may be, have to be a little higher for men as it is for females. So they may try to adjust a little bit later on or carry the study out again, but a little bit longer. But here's the kicker. After the 12 week maintenance period for the weight of women in the placebo group, so they gave the probiotics for 12 weeks, then after that there was no weight loss in the group that was getting the fake stuff. However, in the group that was getting the real probiotic for 12 weeks, and then when they stopped, the weight loss continued, even though there was no change in the placebo group. In fact, they said the probiotic group had continued to lose weight for a total of 5.2 kilograms, which you're looking over 10 pounds, 10 and a half pounds, per person. In short, women consuming probiotics lost twice as much weight over the 24 week period of the study. According to the researcher, Probiotics may act by altering the permeability of the intestinal wall, basically reinforce the intestinal wall, and reduce inflammatory compounds. These inflammatory compounds, which can lead to out of control blood sugars, weight gain, so on and so forth. Besides the inflammatory compounds not being healthy overall when there's too many of them. So, in recap, probiotics, lactobacillus, graminose, over a 12 week period of time doubled the weight loss, and then continued to lose, have people lose weight even after they stopped taking the product itself. Hope you find that helpful. Thank you.